Welcome to the Archives, where we dive into games long forgotten in our Steam libraries to find gems hidden within. Have you ever wanted to be a girl inside a metal mech calling some weird, creepy professor master? <laughs> Me neither! But killing the multitudes of strange monsters and aliens are fun! So let's see what this game has to offer. Metal Unit is a roguelike fighting platformer, where we play as Joanna fighting monsters that come from the core of the Earth. We do this by gearing up our mech suits called Metal Unit. Roll credits! You have six item slots to equip with your mech, being a melee weapon, a ranged weapon, a gadget slot, an ultimate power slot, an enhancement slot, and a dodge power slot. You fill these slots up with weapons you find across the biomes. Dying makes you lose all of these items in your inventory and what you have on your mech. Luckily for you, the world is just littered with weapons that conveniently work with your super advanced mech. Each item, except for health potions, have an experience bar that fills up when being used, so guns need to be shot at enemies and do damage. Dodge items need you to dodge attacks while equipped. Pretty straightforward. You can't farm experience from a single enemy, which is good so it forces the player to actually keep playing through the levels and not just sit with five dodge items and keep dodging the same simple enemy. Once the experience bar is full, you gain a mastery point and potentially can unlock recipes relating to said item. Items you find can be used to combine to other items in two ways. One is through a recipe, which a combination of items you find can usually make a better item. This tends to be the best way to get certain powerful legendary items so you're not subject to chance. The other way is to combine through something called synthesis. Essentially, you combine two items together and it produces a random one of a rarity relating to the two you put in. So if you put in two normal items, you will most likely get a normal one back, but have a small chance to get a rare weapon instead. Which all in all sounds nice, but what are these mastery points? Mastery points give you access to weapons you have collected throughout the game. There are four tiers that tie into rarity, so after a certain amount of points you gain access to all the common weapons you have collected, to then all the rare weapons you've collected, then so on and so forth. Now, you access these weapons through your closet back in home base. From this closet, you could pull one of each type of item out of it. If you try to pull another of the same type of item, it will automatically remove the first one. Another catch is that the items you pull out of the closet cannot be used for synthesis or for crafting. So basically, a system that allows you to bring out weapons if you need to gear up for something or you just died and need something to defend yourself. Not to mention, I believe these weapons also stay if you go through New Game Plus. The major downside about weapons, it's very RNG. G based in the sense of what you're going to get when you synthesize or open chests. It would have been nice if the shop system had more that allowed you to minimize the RNG aspect rather than upgrades to find more stuff in chess. Combat overall feels pretty nice, other than some strange dodging hitboxes. Honestly, that could just be me playing bad and nothing to do with the game. You fight various enemies and a few bosses. Each biome has its own unique enemies and special events to gain access to special items. Even secret dungeons when you revisit a biome after completion. You also collect some crystals that help upgrade yourself, the suit, and the droid that follows you. I really enjoyed the gameplay aspect, however, there is another aspect we need to discuss. The story. Overall, I think the story is sadly mediocre. I feel no connection to any of the characters, and the overall story I don't think works for a game this short. I feel like we needed more time with some of the characters, and events, which sadly we didn't get. I think I would have liked a more generic cheesy plot than the one we got. Two of the characters really just throw off the entire Entire experience. You're accompanied by a drone that not only helps you in combat, but also is slightly integral to the story. The gameplay with the drone is actually pretty cool, and I like it. The story part of it, I just don't get. Its facial expression on its monitor feels tone deaf. It puts on a big troll face during emotional and stressful moments. This character actively feels like it doesn't want you to care about whatever is going on, followed by the professor character that is mostly called Master. Still feels gross. He isn't interesting for the story. He is supposed to bring some moral ambiguity, but honestly he feels gross from the start and that's all you get. There's nothing for me to respect or like about this character. Also, the whole master thing just doesn't work as a whole, even after you learn everything from the story. Maybe with Joanna for a spoiler reason, but not for everyone else to refer to him like that. I wonder if he is the reason if Joanna has no spine in the pause menu. Rest in peace, spine. 
I could poke holes into the story, but I feel like that isn't necessary for a game like this. So with that all out of the way, did I enjoy Metal Unit? I very much enjoyed the gameplay overall. The game offers some replayability with New Game Plus and a challenge mode area that offers legendary loot for completing the game a certain way. However, I found myself saying once is good enough. I put in about 14 hours of gameplay, which is a lot of it was just me messing around with the biomes trying to find new weapons to master and unlock more stuff. So its gameplay overall makes up for its lackluster story. So maybe give Metal Unit a try. I hope you all enjoyed that review of Metal Unit, and please give me any feedback regarding the reviews or how you felt about the game. Next up is a game I've been personally been wanting to play. Most of you probably know it, and it's a bit late to really say anything on it, but man, I am excited to play Elden Ring. <laughs> Editing D-Lord here. Actually going to correct, I am not going to play Elden Ring next one because I'm actually going to be playing Atomic Heart as it's coming out within seven days that I am making this particular recording. Actually really excited to give it a chance because it seems like a weird Bioshock type game in the USSR and all that fun jazz. So I'm really excited to give it a try, but until then, enjoy the archives.